Hi everyone, how are you doing? Welcome today. I thought I would do true vintage, which I think is considered 1930s to 1960s. And you can find some in the 70s and 80s as well. But I have grabbed the ones that are like really true vintage. I do believe a couple of mine do not have dates, but they are similar to the first ones that I will show you. Now I have seven, uh, 1970s, 1982 as well. So I think I'll start with these today and share them with you. Okay, the first one is 1935. Let me make sure, because I have a little stack. Yep, copyright 1935, the Spool Cotton Company, and it's printed in USA. And this is crochet and knitted bags. Let's see, I'll just hold it up. And I will show some of the pictures. But it's, um, some of them have the cost of it, like 10 cents, you know? So you know, it's like, oh my goodness. It's all, you know? A long time ago they have like descriptions of a personal motif bag um, a rickrack purse a knitted envelope so here's a few of them. I'll just, I don't want to pull the paper too far too full apart too far apart sorry <laughs> um, this is the knitted envelope bag let's see I won't show each one. Maybe some that has several. Oh my goodness. There's some. The paper is thin and the seam of it is a little fragile. Here we have popcorn diamond bag, a mesh pouch, and an evening bag. These are considered the evening bags which is like a drawstring bag, it looks like. Here is the popcorn and the other one right there, which are so pretty. I really like the front one. And I did read where you can get help with reading the vintage patterns. Look at these pretty purses. They're just so pretty. I feel like <laughs> they were very elegant back then, you know, with their pretty hats and their bags and sometimes their gloves. Ah, an Afghan stitch, which could be considered um, Tunisian because they used to call it the Afghan stitch. This, this one here is the oval bag and this one is probably the Afghan, what is it? Afghan stitch bag right there. Listen, I won't go through any more in this, but this is 1935. And that is crocheted and knitted bags. So let me set that down. The next one, let's see, I think it's 39, 1939. I can't believe I couldn't find dates on some of them. No, 1936, and this is hats and bags. Even the top cover is coming off. Look at her hat and her bag. And here's the, the back is the same picture. So let's see if I can find a couple pictures. <laughs> this one is called the Swanky Beret. That is kind of crazy, huh? <laughs> I can't hold up some of this. It's so fragile. Let's see. There's a bow hat, a fringed hat, and fringed bag. Some of them, they used um, wooden handles. Oh. This is called the Skyway, the hat. And this is a knitted triangle purse. That's really pretty. The 
this different hat and purse. Oh, see how it's coming unstapled? I'll have to work on that. And a fedora hat. It's a lot of work. Let's see if I Oh, how pretty. Look at this one. Sunlight hat and sunlight gloves. Ready? <laughs> Look at this one. Her sunlight hat and the gloves. Very lacy, very pretty. Well, there's that one. I'll stop at that one. And I really need to try to staple that together better. This one is bags. Let me see if I found the date on this one. Oh, I don't think I found the date on this one. But here's the picture bags. Look, granny squares, right? Some type of granny square pattern. Pretty neat. This bag. Mm -hmm. oh, I like this bag over here. It's another drawstring pouch like. What's this one? That one's pretty. With ribbon, it looks like. I'll just go through. A lot of them are written. Let's see. Oh, here's some nice ones. I don't know. They have the pictures and then they have the pattern on the next page, but I'll just show you a few of them. How's that? Ah, this one has a buckle, like it's a crocheted buckle right there. How neat. It's just really nice looking back at like the styles. Oh, here's some. Um, one more. <laughs> that one and this one. And that book is um, 10 cent too. And let's see with this one. This one is hats. And I don't think I have the date on this. But you know they're in the 30s and 40s. Yep, it's the Spool Cotton Company. Let's see. So here's a pretty red hat and bag. Let's see if I can find something in here. Uh, here's a hat. And here's a scarf down there. I didn't expect to see a scarf. That's pretty. Here's some more. <laughs> For those that like the vintage look and style. This is for y'all. <laughs> and then, like I said, the it'll have like the number. Like this, for example, has the number and the next page pertains to the pattern. There you go. So that's a little different. Okay, that'll be enough of that one. I've got just three more. This one's called Headliners. It's newest hat, hats, bags, and belts. Let's see if there's a date in this one. 1944, right? And look at their hair. It says two to show. And they're pretty hats. Let's see. That paper is so thin. Oh my gosh. I like these. <laughs> this is like called over the top. These are like head scarves. Look how pretty. If you can see that, I hope. And then this one. Just a couple of hats. There you go. I'll skip a few. This is considered, this is like the center fold. It's called center, centers of attraction. So it's got the belts, handbags, hats, and, I mean belts and handbags, I believe. There you go. I'm going to just hold it up for a few minutes. The belts are sort of in the center. 
<laughs> kind of neat, huh? 1944. Okay, so that's about it that I can show on that one. There's, It's a real thin little uh, booklet. This one says ideas for gifts. Let me see. I don't think there's a date in this. I could be wrong. Nope, it's 1949. This one does. Here it is. Ideas for gifts. A little, little lamb. What is that down there? Oh my goodness. Looks like a cigarette case. <laughs> and maybe a doily. So let's see what gifts. And this is 10 cents also. It's hard to turn the pages over. Um, hot plate mat. Those are hot plate mats right there. And then they also covered hangers. This is the second um, pattern I've seen. I have one, I think, in 1982 that has somebody crocheting uh, hangers. These are egg warmers. There you go. Very neat. <laughs> ah, we got pot holders. Similar to what we would make, right? And what is this? This is a luncheon set. It looks like they might have crocheted the edge with a real fine cotton, like a 10 or a three or even smaller. I don't know, against some linen. It looks like it. See that placement? Like, I'd have to read more about that. Ah, they got glass jackets. These are gift ideas, <laughs> which we, you know, we call them cozies, right? <laughs> And this is a beach bag and slipper. Here's the slippers and the beach bag. Oh, I like they have the crochet down here for the glass jackets though. Is that it down there? Yep, yeah, I couldn't see where I was pointing to for sure the numbers for the different ones. There is something called a bed jacket. Here's a pin cushion and a toy lamb. Here's the bed jacket. You can see the toy lamb and the pin cushion. Is that what it is? Yep, pin cushion, a heart shaped. Let's see here. A curtain pole. I don't know where that one is. Let me see if I skipped a page. No. Nope. Um, curtain poles. Oh my gosh, it almost looked like tatting, but it is crochet. Look at these curtain poles, tiny, tiny. Because I had to read um, a couple rows because I thought some of them looked like tatting. How neat. <laughs> Well, that was a different kind of book, huh? Ideas for gifts. And here's the last one I have. Time is going by quickly. Let's see if I can find the date. This one is 1951. This is hats, bags, beanies, slippers, and gloves. And look at the colorful blocked little booklet. And it was 10 cents. Let's see what we have here. This is called the stroller, I guess the whole set. And this is the pixie, her little hat. <laughs> Poof puff. Let's see. Yes, yeah, some of it is using like Aunt Lydia thread and such, the real fine stuff, but I don't know. This is poof puff, so I'm guessing they put pom poms on their shoes. What's this one? Ring around. It's a pretty hat and bag. Right there. 
Oops, sorry. It's a little harder doing this than I thought to hold up the pictures. Let's just, I want to show all of them. Here's the clutch, clutch, I don't know. And here's one called the pom-pom, I think. So it's a cute little hat with the pom-poms. It's almost just like the strip, this one. Like almost like a headband right there, that one. And on the next page, it has uh, a recipe, a pattern for crocheted shorty gloves. Oh, it has some of the patterns for the poof poof, whatever that is. It's a toe strap. It's a toe strap to assemble the slipper, I guess. So these are the rest of uh, the patterns for some of the ones I showed you. And that is it for today of our vintage look, you know, to look at the pamphlets, little booklets that I was given. Those are from my aunt that she shared with me. And she's right, I really enjoy looking at that. So I will probably read some of the patterns and see how they are to understand and such. But maybe um, next week I'll share some of the other ones, maybe in the 70s or 80s that I have. Um, and that's about it. I'm using one of the 1982 uh, I think it's by Boy, a little pamphlet like Leisure Arts. It's got a few more pages though. And I've done some dishcloths, which are different. And there's a couple other things I wanna make in there. So there's several in that one book I wanna make. And that was 1982. So, you know, that's kind of an older from 2021, a different style. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed taking a look back to our past of crochet and some knitting of the styles that, you know, were worn back in that day. Have a wonderful day and I'll talk to you soon. All right, bye.